Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to create an eye-catching award design animation that's perfect for showcasing winners in your films, whether it's for best film, best director, or any other award category. This dynamic animation will bring a professional touch to your projects and help you highlight achievements and style. Let's dive right in and create something incredible together. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I'm calling it Award. As usual, I am going with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a frame rate of 60. Once done, hit OK. Next, create a new solid layer and name it Background. Choose a dark red or brown color and confirm by hitting OK again. Now let's move on to creating the shape. Select the Ellipse tool from the toolbar. Make sure the fill is set to none and the stroke is set to a solid white color with a size of five pixels. If these options aren't visible, unselect any selected layers first. Oops, my bad if I missed mentioning that earlier. Now, click and drag to draw a circle. For a perfect circle, hold down Alt and Shift while dragging. And there you have it, our base shape is ready. Rename the layer to Ring and open it. Click on Add and choose Trim Paths, then expand the Trim Paths options. Set the end value to 92% and the start value to 52%, which should give your shape the desired look. Next, minimize the trim path and open the stroke one settings under the ellipse layer. Change the line cap to round cap to make the edges of the stroke rounded. Now it's time to add animation to the stroke. Reopen the trim paths options and focus on the end property. At the first frame, set the end value to 52% and add a keyframe. Move to the two second mark on your timeline and change the end value back to 92%. This creates a smooth animation. To enhance it, select both keyframes, press F9 and apply Easy Ease. Once done, minimize all layers by pressing M on your keyboard. Now let's create the leaf. First, hide the ring layer since it's not needed at this point. Go to the toolbar and select the pen tool. Set the fill to a solid color and the stroke to none. Using the pen tool, click and drag to draw a leaf shape. At first, the leaf shape might not be perfect, so don't worry. Make a rough shape and then adjust its look by dragging these handles. Press and hold the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and drag the handles to adjust the shape as needed. Once satisfied, select your shape layer again and press Y to activate the Anchor Point tool. Move the anchor point to the edge of the leaf, and this ensures that all transformations, like rotation and scaling, will pivot from this point. Rename the layer to Leaf. With the anchor point set, you'll notice that rotation and scaling now occur naturally from the edge, as intended. Let's add some animation. Press V to activate the Move tool and position the leaf appropriately. Open the rotation property and set the value to negative 30 degrees. Duplicate the leaf layer, then select the duplicate layer at the top. Go to Transform and choose Flip Horizontal. Open the rotation property again and set the value to 30 degrees for this layer. This gives the desired look for the pair of leaves. Now let's animate both leaves. Make sure you are at the first frame. Select both layers and press S to open the scale property. Add a keyframe for each layer. Move forward by one second in the timeline and change the scale values to 0% for both leaves. Realizing this creates reverse animation, we need to fix it. Select all keyframes, right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, and choose Time Reverse Keyframes. This corrects the animation direction. Drag the top layer a few frames forward to stagger the animation, creating a more dynamic effect. Finally, select all keyframes, press F9, and apply Easy Ease. The animation will now appear smoother, and the leaves will flow naturally. To adjust the animation speed, you can bring the end keyframes closer together to speed it up or 
move them farther apart to slow it down. Personally, I like this timing. If you want to make the animation smoother, select all keyframes, open the graph editor. If your graph doesn't look right, make sure you've selected edit speed graph. Then adjust the curves of the end keyframes by dragging the handles to create a smooth arc. If needed, zoom in to grab the handles more precisely. This tweak enhances the motion, giving the leaves a more natural flow, similar to how real leaves move. You can also experiment with a different arrangement by placing one leaf slightly above another. This layering effect mimics the natural look of real leaves, adding a touch of realism to your animation. However, this step is entirely optional. Feel free to skip it if it doesn't suit your design vision. Once satisfied, select both leaf layers, right-click, and choose Pre-Compose. Rename it to Leaf Animation and click OK. Now turn the ring layer back on and place the leaf animation onto it. First, fix the anchor point by selecting the anchor point tool and moving the anchor to the appropriate spot. Open the rotation property and adjust the angle to position the leaf animation correctly. Then open scale and resize the layer to fit well within the composition. Use the move tool to position the animation along the ring. You can fine tune the rotation and placement based on your project needs. As there's no single correct value, it depends entirely on how your design has come together so far. Now create more duplicates of the leaf animation layer and place them strategically around the ring. To add a dynamic feel, stagger the layers by dragging the top layer slightly forward on the timeline so that the animations open one after another. Make about seven copies of the layer and arrange them around the ring, spacing them evenly for a balanced look. But the key is to ensure the layers are spaced apart to achieve a dynamic visual effect. Once the layers are placed, adjust their timing so that each one appears sequentially after the ring layer animation completes. For efficiency, I'm fast forwarding through this repetitive step. Great, let's move to the next step. Next, open any of the leaf compositions, select a leaf element and copy it. Return to the main timeline and paste the leaf onto it. Position this leaf at the top of all other layers. Adjust its scale value to about 17% and tweak its rotation to align with the stem of the ring layer. Zoom in for precision and ensure the placement feels natural. This looks great now. Add some subtle rotation adjustments to refine the look further and fit the view to 100% to confirm the placement timing. You might notice some unnecessary scale keyframes. These can be removed to clean up the animation. Press U to reveal all keyframes. On scale property keyframes, select the middle keyframe and delete it. Then reposition the remaining keyframe for smoother timing. This minor correction ensures the animation flows as intended. While you can spend extra time perfecting this, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll proceed with the current setup. If you want to speed up the leaf animation, you can adjust it by opening the composition and tweaking the timing. I am just changing the position of this top layer. Let's check the animation. And this is how it looks now. Great, I like how it is shaping up. Now, select all of the leaf layers, including the ring, and pre-compose them. Let's name this Pre-Comp Award Left, and then hit OK. After that, scale it down to fit the design and position it where you want. Next, duplicate this layer and rename it to Award Right. Right-click on it, go to Transform, and choose Flip Horizontal to mirror it. Add some spacing between the two layers and place them at the center of the composition for balance. Let's check the animation. And this is how it looks now. Now let's move on to adding the text animation. Grab the text tool and start typing your text. For this example, I'm using this particular font. Then go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the 3D Basic Position Z Cascade. Double-click on it to apply it to your text layer. You can adjust the timing by moving the keyframes to your preferred position on the timeline. Press U to reveal all the keyframes and place them where you need them to be. Next, open the Range Selector options and go to Advance. 
There you'll find the Ease High and Ease Low settings. Set both of these to around 50%. After that, you're done with the animation. Feel free to add any color you like to your text and you're all set. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.